my pretties. Today I'd like to introduce myself. I am Rhiannon. I go by Rhiannon Rainbow. I'm now starting this new channel where we're going to talk about makeup, music, metaphysics, and lots of other lifestyle choices, music, art, fashion, all that kind of stuff, unwrapping things, getting to show you a little bit of my techniques of what I do in my own style. And yeah, so let's begin. Um, I do have a couple sample objects just for this first video today to show you and let's see if we can have some fun with this. Okay, so we're going to start with the magical, most terrifying use of all makeup. If you can tell, I'm wearing a ton of it as we speak. Glitter. Today we're going to have a little intro, the intro within the intro, on glitter. Okay, so I'm going to grab my little tray behind me, and we have stuff that I have to show to you today. So one of my favorite is this Lavender Stardust, which I have like a nice undercoat of right now, if you can tell, especially right here. This one's my favorite pink one, just because, you know, if you haven't caught the drill already within a minute and a half of looking at me, I love pink, and trust me, I didn't used to, but girl, gotta learn to love it. It's girl's color, you know? Well, it could be anybody's color, but, you know, just something blends with that female lovey-dovey heart with pinks and I just I love pink so but okay carrying on so I I love these but part of my biggest issue with these mm, yeah is that they're rollers they're roll on glitter and if you remember from the 90s rollers like this even though I have it all to the bottom and now it's going to work for me because I, I, I had to like spend 20 minutes getting it to actually dispense glitter. But um, it gets stuck, kind of dried out, and it won't exactly roll out in a natural way. You kind of have to mess with it a lot, shake it, and then like to give it a good like... Well, that's not what I like to do, but I just want to show you the next one. I like to give it a nice shake. Yeah, a little bit more violent of like you want to feel it splatter down into the bottom. Okay, so to the next color, my next favorite color, purple. So this one, this one was the first one I got. And honestly, I do love it. I love it so much. It's what made me fall in love with these in the first place. Just like that mermaid. That mermaid shimmer, the purples, the silver tones, the little bit of blue micro dust when it hits the light. Let's check it out. I already saw the pink, which I didn't think you saw it on me yet. There you go. Now, okay, the thing I was talking about. Slap it down. Yay, it's working for me. Thank God, because it would have been a lot more troublesome to pause this just to shake these up and probably go grab the one that I just threw a minute ago. <laughs> but, um, so here's the pink. There's the purple. If you can tell much of a difference. I know, glitter is glitter, so it's kind of hard, but like... You can tell it's a lot more silver blue tones, a little bit more of like an aqua fairy than a vibrant, like softer, more silvers, which brings us to our next color, the silver. And it's plain old classic glitter, snow colored, oh wait, unicorn prism and real quick. Dreamy. So I'm wearing the Dreamy. It's back to the unicorn, which is probably why I bought it, because what you will learn very soon, if you can't tell too much already, I know there's a lot going on behind me, 
and there's a lot of little details who knows how much you can see i don't know what kind of screen you're sporting like you could be on a teeny little you could be on a big old like looking at me every detail looking at how this lighting isn't the best Shh, i know i know okay i'll work on it but go gotta get herself situated first and that's what we're doing today so unicorns unicorns you will find out eventually that I have over a hundred unicorns hidden in this room. But, um, to our next, while we're on the subject of unicorns, Uni Glitter. Uni Glitter. Which, trust me, I will try my best to remember to put all of this in a little snapchat of your hashtaggy I'm yeah I think I'm a millennial or something and I would know what the fuck we call things oh I don't know if I'm gonna be able to use that but whatever what we call things so unicorn oh no 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 so unicorn glitter I'm wearing some right now it's this very bold and flaky looking stuff that I have on my cheeks and upper eyelid. And if you notice that it blended kind of nicely, even though right now with the lighting, being in a camera, not standing here next to me, boo girl, hey, be my best friend, you know. Like, it looks like it blended well enough from a distance. So, what's the beauty about this? If you didn't pause and look at the lid you might be able to see it now it is uv activated and it has a second layer of protection so i want to show you the lid first before i show you the sweet pot it's got some stars some moons there in the light Yeah. If it would just focus, I'm going to learn all these tricks of how awful it is to try to do this. Okay. Take a little swatch and you will see what I'm talking about without having to get in my face because that would make me feel so comfortable, so comfortable as if this is it slightly nerve wracking if you can't tell? Yeah, 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 yeah. You can do it. Okay, so on the hand, yeah, you are seeing them stars. Them stars are really nice, really loud. Like, and some moons up in there. It's really pretty. Ooh, even. A little close to my face, but, but not not too close. So, then we'll do the fun part of after, because I have black light lights to show you the UV-ness. And just while I'm at it, I'm also right now wearing black light highlighter just like the basic Sephora stuff I'll put it in a little description below oh and um to show you the finishing touch to this look this makeup beautiful bright to shine because you can never have enough glitter And the finishing touch hidden in the background if you've been looking being like oh that jacket though like let's let's give give her a little twirl in the jacket too i got this jacket for christmas from my boyfriend he got it from the goodwill for maybe like ten dollars added this little touch on there the i need space patch 
some more sequins to match my sequins to match my glitter because girl can never have enough glitter. Surprised I didn't glitter all the tones. I'm glad I didn't because I don't need glitter all over my bones and my bed and my bed bones. My bed bug bones. No bed bugs here, but put me in my bones. I don't know. Crazy. Okay. So we'll swirl it all. Yeah. Go for the fun part. I will be right back in a moment. Sorry. Just trying to figure out what I'm going to do in here. So, who knows? It might be like black in the next in the next moment. So, at least there's a fair, fair warning so your eyes can adjust. You can mentally adjust before your eyes even adjust. You know what I'm saying. So, let's go the other corner of my room. See you in a moment. Okay my pretties. So we're back. We're not in complete darkness yet. So I kind of had to like charge these in my face. It's kind of weird because I'm like the light up in my face and I can show you the highlighting palette that I was telling you about. Six black lighted highlighting color palette. It's just a basic Sephora or I don't know. It's a PH com Cosmetics. So you must find that out. I'm glad I pulled it out. So first off, BH, I love you. You're so affordable but yet good. And that's part of the thing. I don't even girl, I'm running out of something. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I don't know why I started this on the mobile. I'm like, I don't even have like much concealer. Like I'm like on my last lens of concealer, but I'm gonna make it work. Don't worry, if you're if you're loving this, I'm not going nowhere. I'm not running away that fast, but like, I'm just, I'm, I'm gonna be working through some struggles. So, so bear with me, give me a chance, cause I know like, people don't wanna give me a chance. Okay, so the BH palette, under $20. Beautiful, beautiful. I've already used quite a bit of it, even though I haven't even had black eyes up until like the last couple months. So there we go. There we go with that. So we have Illusion, which is a soft pink, which is honestly my favorite. You can tell because it's kind of already used up and it is super bright. Wow, which kind of is what is my highlighter of this moment on my nose which I have a little bit of the damn I got so much all over I can barely read it on point which is like a dark pink it's really beautiful gives me very fairy vibes like I like to use a little bit above my lip because it'll kind of give me like this like super juicy like I just like got done eating a strawberry a little bit of like strawberry do on my lips like not like in a gross way like in a like men want to come and like that off that, i'd even want to slurp it off some pretty lady and i don't even i don't even roll like that but i support you know <laughs> but uh okay so the next one strobe which is our green one it's hard to tell in these lights what's going on with the actual colors and I can't I can't even tell I'm just like basing it off my own memory huh okay so I lied strobe strobe is a classic white really had to look because I did not know what was going on and if I would have read a little bit more maybe it would have given me kind of I still was like what the fuck color would a strobe be like it could be any color like you think about strobe lights and arrays like you're thinking like colors everywhere like little rainbow lights it's just like I don't think about like an opalescent white necessarily like I guess that makes sense but would my mind instantly jump to it without questioning it? And I'm one of those people who just, like, can't help but, like, you know how in, question, like, tests they'll have, like, multiple answers that 
like two are very similar and one's the right answer and the other one's just like the right answer kind of but put in words that will trick you that's the one that I almost always will choose because like I just I I get I'm I can get lost easily obviously obviously so <laughs> back to this <laughs> so we got Colleen with a K W E E N Colleen right over here that is a nice blue now to the green that I was talking to you about which is called laser and then Electra and I feel like a nice light pink oh which was a finger that had like some eyeliner on it So this one's the dark pink compared to the light pink. Not too different. I like to really blend these two together. A little touch up on camera. Yeah, look at how shiny. I don't know what it is. I don't put white stuff up or in my nose often, but I love having all this light shiny stuff on my nose. Like, I love having a shiny nose. I don't know why. It's magical. Is it green or white? It's white. But like, could you really tell between the green and the white? I mean, it makes any different. But like, you know, highlighter can be very subtle undertones. Like, I can do some magical work with the green on like any kind of male face. Like, I can make you look like a fairy boy. I don't care how masculine you are. I can make you look like a freaking fairy, and you'll love it. Blue. I really guess you can kind of tell. Compared to the yellow. Yeah. Because you can tell that blue matches my like background blue right there. And then that doesn't quite look like it. Plus in black light, you know, everything's going to have a little purple hue. A little purple hue. I'm going over here. And get the normal light. See, I'm glad I have the normal light. Hi. Hi, free girl. Hello. Jeez. Sorry. This, these videos are not for the faint of heart. I will be a good... I will be a goof. I will be a dork. I will be pretty silly. And guess what? There will also be moments of scary stories, guys. Scary stories. Some of you in my own real life scary stories. I'll tell some tales. I'll, t I'll try to let you in. My little world, my little mind, what's going on in here, maybe you can understand why. So erratic and crazy all the time, but uh, not all the time, but pretty damn close. Talked long enough that I have this light on partially to activate these, which you can kind of tell a little bit more than before. Before you, you were really not, not seeing it for its colors. I can see like a little bit of like... These orange pigments. Let me, I'll be back again. Okay. No warning! Lights off! No warning. So, I feel like it's not looking any bit more. Maybe I should have. We'll open it and see. You can't even. Like, I'm not, I'm not impressed, guys. Like, I'm not gonna lie, because, like, is it really glowing any bit more than anything's glowing in here? Like, okay. Let's go back to this again. Ooh. Do you actually see any shapes? Or is it just a smudge? Here, I'll, I'm gonna hide behind this. I feel safer. Because it's prettier behind the glitter. And that's why I have so much. Oh, look! You can act. I, I saw a star. Ooh, there. So it kind of. It kind of does some stuff. It looks like it does a lot more inside than on the outside. And I've seen. I have, like, some friends that just, like, ooh. Ooh. I saw a star. <laughs> 
I have some friends though who wear like a bunch of UV makeup and it is it is like blossomingly bright. So I'm I'm kinda like um oh, like does this actually I'm looking at the mirror that's like across the way from you. Can you even see my hair glow a little? But not not so much not so much seeing like too much actual like I can tell that there's glitter on my face. I can tell that there's glitter, but I don't see no glowing. Not impressed. My nose. Because it's dark me right now. This isn't the lightiest light. Oh no, my nose. And remember I freshly powdered that in front of y'all. Like you can tell because there's there's like highlighter on my chin, on my upper lip cheeks, a little on my forehead. You can't see it. I want to expect you to see the little, little bit that's under the piles of glitter. Okay. But. I'm going to pull this. No. Oh. Um, I don't see no glowing. I don't even see none of those little orange specklets. Let's put this like right up to my face. Yeah. Like, and like, no, no, like, light is ever going to be this close to your face to make this like work. Like, I should just be working. Like, am I too close? Am I too, like, was I too far? much difference y'all so I think that kind of that kind of wraps that whole thing up should we end this in black light good night black light hello my pretties good night black light mm -hmm. okay so the great news is that this is not my only glitter I have a couple more glitters got a lot of more makeup a lot more stuff. Got a lot of stuff to talk about. Got a lot of stuff going on in here. I might, I might look pretty, but there's a lot of stuff going on behind here. Like, I'd love to share it with you. I'd love to share some of my knowledge with you. Even I was just thinking about how many weird things I know about like abnormities. Not like we're really gonna get in touch with any of that stuff anytime soon. Like we're gonna be pretty like fashion focused, makeup metaphysics, and mental, for real, for real, but eventually we will get into a little bit more of like some weird stuff, so we'll have some Black Fridays where like, trust me, I'm not always wearing pink, honey, like, I gotta go outside too, like, this room is not just half though, like, it, it's got its little Got this little gothy, spooky corner, like, you know. You gotta have layers. You gotta have variety. You can't just, you can, you can throw, especially to any teeny boppers who, I don't know if you should be listening to this. I think because I said the F word like twice. You know what? That's PG 13. I'm doing good. <laughs> but to any of you teeny boppers, you don't have to just be one thing. You can be a variety of things. You are more than just like the box that you choose to be. You can be a box and everything outside the box. You can be the splatter box of beautifulness. You can be so much. You don't have to be held down to being one thing in your life. And I think a lot of people get that confused that like you think that you're just this. But no, we're diverse. We're complex creatures. That nothing is ever that simple. Oh my god, I'm so sorry that you're still staring at my purple face. Because I don't know about you, but I'm even getting a little like blinded. I'm like, whoa, over here with this like, gleam in my face. I'm just going to kind of hide a little. Not, not as intense, but um. So, yeah, this was a lot of fun. I hope that. Somebody, even like it's like a handful of people who like vibe in and dig in with this, like fucking what I'm doing, like 
That'd be nice. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, I'd have to stop saying like, oh, you know what? Y'all, y'all be like that too. Y'all be like that. But um, as far as this little video goes for this season, we're gonna do that little in the end of editing. I love you, my pretties, and I'm so excited to start this new adventure off with you, showing you wonderful and beautiful things, teaching you stuff, sharing some knowledge. Um, one thing, if you actually manage to get all the way through this, or like however this is going to end up going, let me just, let me just throw this out there real quick, okay? Because I know there's... I know that there's people who aren't that nice in this world who are going to say mean things. And I, I'd like to just say it before you can say it. Yes. My teeth. Yeah. I know. I know. I know. You don't have to go there. You're going to anyway. So I'm just saying, like, in the, in the first place, like, I'm going to ignore you. Like, I can tell when, like, one word turns into, like, a bunch of nasty, and I just don't got time for that. Like, I'm gonna ignore you. Like, I don't, I, there's nothing you are gonna say to me that I haven't either heard or even had issues with myself and hold myself. It's like, there's no harder critic than yourself, so on some level, I could be like, bring it at me, but at the same time, why waste your own time when... Your words aren't even going to be acknowledged. So if you want to, like, analyze me, cut me down into pieces, do what you need to do to make you feel better, dude. Like, just know it's going to be a waste of time. And that's another of the wonderful, beautiful things that I hope that we can furtherly explore. is just how to handle yourself, other people, and love yourself. Because you really only got you at the end of the day. So... I love you, my pretties. Farewell, and looking forward to another adventure.